All right, I've got some uh, new styles for cross guards um, for the upcoming release of Prop OS 3, as well as the upcoming release of Episode 9. Um, I've been playing around with my saber for events, um, so I decided to put these styles together, um, and they'll be available in the library for anyone else who wants to use them. Um, so this is a variation. So I, I have my actual Kylo uh, unstable blade that I use um, separately. Uh, while designing that one, I came up with a couple of variations. So this is a, a variation. This one uses responsive blade, which is a uh, basically uses swing a swing speed function. So based on how fast you're moving the blade, this one goes from unstable to stable. Um, so the more you move the blade, so a little bit of movement, it gets a little more stable. And then when you go for fast swings, it actually comes completely stable and much brighter. Um, so this one has that responsive blades, unstable to stable. And then in addition with OS3, we've got all the transitions. So there was a power-up effect um, and a cooldown effect. So when I retract, you'll see a cooldown effect. When I ignite, you'll see a power-up effect. So that's that power-up. And then on lock-up, there's going to be a quick white flash of the blade. Um, and then there'll be localized lock-up. And then there will be the uh, cooldown effect after lock-up. So that was all the effects. So that's using all the transition effects in lockup. And then for drag, it has a similar. have a white flash of the tip. You'll have the effect, and then you'll have a, a fade out for the cooldown. So instead of just turning off, that'll fade. And then with OS3, there's actually also a stab effect. And this uses an animation. So. Uh, when I do uh, thrust and clash, you'll get a wipe in of the effect, and then a fade out. So that's that stab effect. Um, um, and then again, with the this goes unstable to stable, so the more you move the blade, the more stable it becomes. And then lastly, this does not have a color change programmed in, so you can use OS3's uh, default color wheel if you want to change the blade. So for right now, I've got it in red. Um, I'll get some other colors made, um, but if you wanted to change, if you wanted to take this style and color change, you can use uh, with OS3 the default color wheel. So you go into the color wheel mode, and then by turning your hilt, it'll actually go through all the possible colors. So it goes through the full spectrum. And you can get to a color you like. And lock it in. And then again, it'll be an unstable blade, but as you move it, it'll get more stable. And then if you move it really fast, it becomes a completely stable blade. So this is the unstable to stable variation. Um, I do have other variations up on the library if you want to check them out.